Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and in today's video we're going to look at how can we get tables from websites into our spreadsheet the quickest way. Now if I really like this table, I like all the data that's over here and I want to somehow incorporate this into my spreadsheet, I can try copy all this data and then come to my spreadsheet and try to paste it. And as you can see, it's been pasted, it's got the images as well, but the links are there. It's not exactly in the format. I've still got to do a lot of editing to it. I've got to come here to paste special and use it just as text and you can get it in that format. But as you can see, some of the data hasn't gone to the right column. So it's very mixed up. It's not exactly the format that we really want it in. So those are problems when we're trying to paste the data. So is there another way? And yes, there is. Well, so in order to get all this data nicely into a spreadsheet, all I need is actually the web address. So I'm going to make sure that I copy the web address, come to Excel. We're going to come here to data. And then we're going to get data from the web and it'll ask us for an, a URL. We will paste our URL in there that we want to get the table from and click OK. And here it's found a whole bunch of tables and suggested tables in that web page. I'm going to click on the main one and there you can see all the data that it's found in that table. It doesn't include the images, but I'm happy with that. So I'm going to click on load. What you can do is you can also transform the data and that'll open it up in the query editor where you can do some manipulation of it, manipulate the query of the table, split the columns, sort the data. So you do have those options under transform data. I'm simply going to click on load. And there you can see it's added a new sheet called table one. And there you can see my data is nicely in a table already where I can come here and use the different filter options. For example, I just want a particular type of scientific name. So you have all that functionality of your normal tables in Excel. Now this is still connected to that data. You, you can always click on the refresh button to update the data if you want to keep it up to date with the website because it's still connected. But you can always right click on that connection and delete that connection if you want to keep that data static so that it's not influenced by the data from that website. You just wanted to get the data and there it is. So that's the quickest way to get data from a spreadsheet. Reminder, you go to data and then from a web page and then you just go find the URL and then go select the table that you want to incorporate into your spreadsheet. Hopefully that is something that you can use in the classroom. For more teacher tips, make sure you click on that subscribe button and make sure you share us with the other teacher friends so we can give them tips as well. We also post some videos on TikTok at Mr. Long Education and remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.